Hey guys, and welcome back. My name's NG Paradox, and you'll no longer have to see this name here anymore. I know it's disappointing that we're taking out, obviously, the legacy of Aisha, or however you pronounce her name, but, you know, I, I do agree that the name feels kind of weird. Maybe we can, you know, give something to her legacy in a different way in the future, maybe name a new castle or something after her. I'm not sure, but I did ask you last time what you wanted me to call it, and I think the people have spoken. Um, some people were not that fond of uh, Africa and stuff. Some people were saying, you know, Africa is a European word for the, you know, the area. And I, I understand that, but still, it doesn't mean it can't be a good word. We could take that word and use it to show our greatness instead, rather than them using it for us. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we're going to call it the Dawa... Oh, okay, that is uh, not how it is. Dawa, that, that, that is correct, isn't it? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, the Dawa Empire, Empire of Dawa. Empire of Dawa or Empire of... Hmm. Okay, what does this button do? Toggle short name. We'll make the title follow the short name naming convention and present without the tier of... Okay. Interesting. Empire of Dawa, I guess. Um, what would we use as an objective then? I'm not sure. Darrens? 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 Let's go for Darrens for now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you do for objective build. It's not a big deal anyway. There we go. The Empire of Dower. There we go. Perfect. I was at actually, you know what? I actually know. I came up with something else. I was actually going to call it the Holy Dower Empire. You know, because obviously there, there's no Holy Roman Empire in this universe. The Holy Roman Empire was never created. Our nation is a uni all the United Tribes of Central Africa, but also we're united in religion. Like, literally everyone of our faith is now in our lands, and we've subjugated the other ones in Maghreb that we... Well, you know, not this Maghreb, but in the new Maghreb that we... We'll call the other one new Maghreb, actually. That's a good idea. I what if we should call it the Holy... The Holy Dara Empire. I think that works out. I think that feels really good because it kind of fits in. It doesn't feel too simple like Dara. I know, obviously, it looks like Holy Roman Empire and stuff, but I, I like it. I like the Holy Dara Empire. There we go. Perfect. I think that works out really well because we want to show the empire name there, the family name, and we are basically the whole religion united together in one goal to protect ourselves and spread our faith. So... I actually think it fits quite well. Tell me what you think in the comments, though. Do you think we should slightly change it? Maybe not holy, but a different word? Maybe? Um, I'm trying to think of a word for, like, holy or something like that we could use. Um, I try to think. Zealous Dower Empire? I don't know. I don't know. But for now, we'll keep it like that. I'll see what you guys think. I, I quite like that one, actually. I quite like it. Because in this, this version of history, there is no Holy Roman Empire. There's never been one. So it feels quite nice that we kind of have created it. We've created our own one here in Africa. Now, we're at 69% versus Maghreb, so we're quite close to winning. We do obviously want to go east and maybe try and fight the Arabian Empire itself so we can weaken them down for the rebellion. That would be nice as well, but we'll have to wait and see. What we'll do, we'll march forward and we'll go attack these guys, I think. We'll go see if we can take a bit of their land to try and get a bit of war score from them. Pillage them a little bit. Or I guess I could just get white peace. We're def okay, we're definitely beating them now. But what could we? What would we get anyway for enforced demands? We get we get one thousand gold. Okay, we are definitely enforcing demands. <laughs> yeah, we're enforcing demands just for the money. Literally, we're just going to get the money. But that is a lot of gold, and we're so close to one hundred percent. There's no way I can just let that pass us by. We have to try and get that. There we go. Seventy-three percent still. We've captured some people. There we go. Some lovely people have made their way to my dungeons. We'll go for. We're not going to, be able to capture their leader because he's all the way off in Spain right now. But that's fine. We'll just take out these guys for now. My vassals. Hopefully, will some of them will try and take out these guys. Um, okay. Yep. The spirit guardians are definitely taking care of them. So that's fine as well. Maybe we won't be able to go to attack the Arabian Empire, which is a shame. I'd like to go try and soften them up a little bit for the rebellion. Can we take that? Uh, we've got enough to do it, but we saw in the other, you know, other assaults that we've done that we'd lost a bit too many men. Sorry if I sound a bit odd today, but I don't know why. I can't really speak 
today for some reason. It's been like that quite recently, so I do apologize. I guess I'm not in the right mindset, which is you know why you've not seen as many videos recently. But yeah, I, that's more. Oh, that's also because of time though as well. Okay, here we go. Eighty-two percent. Okay, so that's gone well. well. We'll take this one then as well. So eighty-two percent. Uh, we're slowly taking those back. Arabian Empire, how many men do you have now? How's that war going? I hope you lose. I really hope that they'll lose. The Arabian League revolt. 5% for the Caliph. It's only 5% now. Uh, 13,000 versus... Fir it's so even. Fadil Muhalabid. Come on, Muhalab Mul um, Muhalabids. You can do it. We all believe in you. We know you can do it. Free everyone from the Arabian Empire. That is such a big revolt. <laughs> <laughs> and normally in that sort of big revolt, I find it's normally like, you know, chain succession or someone else's claim. It's not normally that big and an independence revolt. It's normally like one or two areas specifically. But it's like everyone wants independence. Why though? Even the same culture groups? You're Bedouin. Oh, I guess they're Berber. But you're the same religion and stuff. You'd thought maybe they'd be happy if the Abbasids, the Arabian Empire, has been pretty great for them so far. We're at 85%. Let's move a bit more forward. Your allies have taken those. Shouldn't take loot too long. Oh, it has ended. The Caliph lost. What? That was quick. Okay, so. We have now the Arabian Empire. And we have Arabia. Oops, I just clicked to move to Arabia. That's not what I wanted. I hate that. I always forget to do that. So we got Sultan Fadil of Arabia. Now, he is pretty strong. You know, he's, he's on an equal level, at least in the revolt to the Arabian Empire. And look at all the land he has. What does this mean for Abyssinia? Abyssinia is still underneath the Arabian Empire. This is now part of the Arabian Empire. We've got a couple of free counties up here. Okay, doesn't really help us. But yeah, Arabia now is going to be our main enemy. Because the Arabian Empire we're not actually next to. We don't touch them at all, apart from Abyssinia. So if we want to try and gain land over here, we're going to have to beat up Arabia, which is going to be difficult because they actually do have a lot of land. But basically, most of uh, the lands over here are united. So, you know, the the borders aren't terrible. I mean, you know, it's mostly kind of this area, and it's mostly pretty good. It's just kind of a bit, you know, uh, over here and stuff. they got a bit more. But the Arabian Empire, have a quick look. So that's the Arabian Empire now. Much smaller. Oh, no. Okay, that, yeah, it's part of Abyssinia, isn't it? So this is the Arabian Empire right now. Much smaller. Still lots of men. Still very dangerous. But probably not a big concern for us. But we'll keep him as a character just because he is, you know, kind of ruling over these people. Um, you are also one as well. Just making sure. Okay. Not really what I liked. Hopefully, it would have been nice if Arabia could also break apart a bit more. It kind of just broke up into one big piece rather than lots of pieces, which would have been what we'd probably prefer, wouldn't it? Of course, we'd have loved it to break up into many tiny weeny pieces. We'll keep going for that. Defeat. Um, Shakria Dower needs to be educated. She likes, she likes and likes, but doesn't like. So she's kind of two, two good and one bad. Um, then for this, she has one good. So it's kind of even. She, yeah, you know, we're gonna go for diplomacy just because kind of two good ones there. There's a chance it could be really good for her, even if she's terrible at diplomacy. But apparently, she likes it. She's one of those kids that likes something she's really bad at. What a silly, silly fool. What a silly numpty. But yes, we'll, we'll move on. 89% right now. These guys are at 73%. Okay, we've come out of these wars pretty good then. If we can win both of these wars, we'll be looking pretty fine. I'll be very happy with that. At the beginning, when we declared war on Andalusia, you know, I was pretty, pretty confident. But then the other two joined in. I, I was a bit worried about that. I was a bit upset about that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect everyone around us to uh, feel that threatened by us. And that gives us 98%. Oh, so close. We'll take this one then. Are they going to free anything else? Any enemies? Are the enemies come over here then? No, I don't really see any enemies that much. We're at 99%. Okay, 100% done. Give me the money. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're rich. We're rich. Emperor Umaru, the sword of the spirits of the Holy Daura Empire. Look at the... Uh, my family are not released. You would think they'd release your family if you win the war. I just... 
That always annoys me. Let's bring our people back, though. Uh, build a war chest. Yes, we definitely have a war chest right now. In your efforts to become more like the good, I, uh, you've begun treating everyone who crosses your path with more understanding and respect. As a result, you become known for your compassionate ways and noble nature. Some go as far to ch calling you the voice of Aya. I am proud to bring honor to the goddess. Okay, so does it? Okay, I thought maybe they're going to change my name to that. Well, I like the sword of the spirits, really, but I probably should free my wife. Ten gold? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Wait, free her from. Ke oh, she with someone else? No. Work to free her from getting through intrigue. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. I was wondering why it popped up. I thought normally that'd pop up on the intrigue thing. I guess they moved it to that. I didn't notice. Uh, Priest Tams has been going around for days, praising me as the wisest. One of the r wisest rulers of the Holy Dower Empire he's seen in decades. Well, thank you very much. Have I been the only one in decades, maybe? <laughs> um, he accepted it, apparently. Okay, I need to get my kids out now. 110 gold. I mean, I did just take this gold from him, but that's a lot of gold. I'm kind. Charity. Yeah, he's going to do it. He needs to free his kids. Damn them. Spending all my gold and such stupid stuff. Ah. Okay, get the other kids out. They're all gonna be 110, are they? Well, that's upsetting. That's upsetting. Maybe we'll, maybe we won't pay for the little kids. <laughs> um, but let's also build up some of these. Uh, maybe I should build up some of my vassals ones, because we need them to be able to update as well. If we ever do change, so that's the thing. We have to make sure they're all built up as well before we even do it. Aren't we? Otherwise, it'd be a complete waste of time. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to spend our money on that. We're going to spend our money on building everyone's, not just my own. Because if I just do my own, we'll get them, we'll turn feudal and become castles. But then all my vassals won't have any castles and we'll have basically zero men. And that would not be good. Because then all our enemies will attack us. And we'll be doomed. Ugh, okay, fine. And that was the last one, yeah? Uh, the ruler's unmarried. My wife! Oh no, she came back and she died. <laughs> I paid 10 gold for you, dear wife. I'm 59 years old now. I've had lots of kids. You know what? I'm not sure if he wants to move on. You know, he was very happy with his wife. He loved her. We were together for a long time. I think he's not going to get remarried, possibly. Unless something happens. Um, unless we meet someone, maybe, you know. My lover is in jail. I mean, she isn't married. We could marry her. I might, I might do that. Huh. Can I not pay her ransom? Um, I'll, I'll do that. We'll try and free. If we can free her, we'll marry the woman I love. The side of the dungeons. I'll probably uh, need an agent in Gibraltar. Okay, your wisdom must be a legendary. Now, can I free her? There we go. Okay, I can free her anyway for 10 gold. We'll free her then and we'll marry her. See, everyone will be happy. We get we get the ending we want. My wife died without knowing about my lover, basically. And, well, I have to put up with her in her face. But then when she dies, we marry our lover and we finally get to be together in our old age. Well, my old age, she's still fairly young. I'm not sure what she sees in me, to be honest. I could be her father. And rest is grown in large areas. We must give food to the people, yes. And here we are, my love. We can finally marry. We can finally marry! Yay! Me and Shukriya Jimmy. Um, her mother, yes. My mother-in-law. Yes, okay. <laughs> my mother was my mother-in-law, but we loved each other. Okay, how have we not got 100% yet? Do we need to go and capture those other places first? What's this? They propose that they should get betrothed. Yes. We were going to betroth you guys anyway, weren't we? So, yes. Congratulations. There you go. They were going to get married anyway. We just put them back together. She's no longer a prisoner. Yes, we don't need to put those plans into motion then. And uh, Arabia looks pretty good. Arabia is a kingdom level title, yeah? Okay, she's so only a kingdom level title. He has got enough kingdoms, though, to make an empire tier title. The Mulhalabid family is now possibly the strongest family in all this land. Rather than the Abbasids. Poor Abbasids. We'll delete them for now. We don't need them. They'll just cause trouble. That cause trouble for everyone. What do I get from this, though? Like, why would I want to win this? 372? I guess I'd pay for the uh, ransoms I had to pay out. Yeah, I guess we'll go for the 100%.
Tonight, the Mead Hall has been inflamed by rumors of a great lion terrorizing the plains of Dower. The warrior who spotted the beast claims it, it is the reincarnation of an evil spirit and a known eater of men. The older members of the lodge agree that as the Lord of Dower, it is my duty to track down and slay the beast. Really? Okay, um, who's my heir right now? He's a lunatic with the great pox. He's gonna die very soon, probably. Uh, can we not vote for someone else? Everyone's voting for him. For my brother. I mean, he is my brother. He's got good stats, but he's gonna... Uh, I'm happy. Uh, we'll see. Okay, I could use you, Bissy. Okay, we could take Bissy with us. He's a, a decent fighter. 46. I have 34. He's better than me. I will need your skills. Marijata. Marijata is not very good, but he is a poet, so I I guess he can somehow find the lion by speaking his poetry, and the, the lion will be so romanticized by the poetry, he'll come towards us. No, no, I don't think that's how lions work. I've never met a lion, but I don't think that's how they work. Or I could have, I would have nobody but you by my side, can boo. Hey, butter. Stop it. Sorry, my dog is scratching the door. You're going to damage the door, Butter. Stop it. Um, he is... I, I think we'd rather take him. Bissy. I think would be the mess. The man is Raven. There is not no such beast. Now we'll take Bissy with me. We'll go together. Come on, Bissy. Before we leave for this perilous journey to slay the monster that is menacing my subjects, I should make an offering to the creator to make sure I'm shielded from the su uh, preternatural powers of the creature. I will burn the best cow for my stock, I'll offer something of value. A small offering is all I need. Uh, I mean, he's charitable. So I, I think it'd be okay in offering the biggest one, yeah. Offer the biggest one. The time has come, we'll sacrifice the cattle. Uh, first to leave the safe confines of civilization and venture forth into the dark domain of the monster plague in my lands. This is interesting, I've not had this event before, and it's always nice to have a new event. Uh, with Bissy and the creator's protection, I'm sure to track down the creature and put an end to the threat it poses to my subjects once and for all. Let the hunt begin. A true hunt. The search of the Great Lion has brought me my expedition to slopes of a thick patch of grassland. Despite beginning the hunt with the most unwavering resolution, I'm starting to feel uncertain of our chances of success. The journey to the creature's lair has been rife with weird signs and bad omens of the most grotesque and unsettling nature. The creator knows that my heart is pure. Your piety shields you from harm. These signs, there must be another way to interpret them. Use your learning to interpret the bad omens. Or, Bissy, tell me, is there another way to interpret these signs? Use his learning now. We are not the best when it comes to learning. I'm just, charitable, trusting, honest, kind, shy, patient, and erudite. I think being erudite, he might use his own interpretations. He's not overly religious, so he won't, I don't think he'll say his heart is pure and be shielded. I think he'll do it this one. He'll pick that one, I would think. That, that's what I'm going to go with. He might even ask him, potentially, but I think he probably, you know, I think he trusts himself in a way. So we'll go for this then. We brought him along because he's a good fighter, but I can interpret the signs. It's obviously not that bad. The Great Lion is resting under a tree, placidly looking... I mean, are there, would there... I guess there would be tigers in this area. I'm not sure about where the area of tigers are in Africa. Um, I, I'm not sure you see tigers. Do you see tigers in the north of Africa? I've never heard of tigers being around there. The desert, maybe. Never really heard of desert tigers. So I, I thought this was kind of more desert, this area. But probably less so, I guess. Uh, I guess it would be... I thought maybe we'd get down to a more central area. I guess this kind of is. I'm not, not my geography of tigers, I have to admit. I shouldn't really be talking about that sort of thing. It's not really my fortitude. Uh, but yes, find the beast that is weakest gives us a considerable advantage against it. Yet we must also be careful not to underestimate this formidable opponent, especially now that we are so close to succeed in our quest. Finally, the death of the vile monster. 70% chance of slaying the great beast, 24% chance of being injured while slaying the great beast, or 6% chance of failing to slay it. I'm not sure about this anymore. You shamefully return home. Why would you come all this way and then just leave? No, there's no way. There's no way. I'm no craven. I'm no craven. Umari will take it down. 
I barely escape the lion's pounce. Just as I slide past the jumping beast, I push my spear through its chest. Getting pulled alongside it, the monster roars and claws at me. I don't know why. I don't know how to make tiger sounds. Yeah, trying to get rid of the weapon, yet I keep a strong hold on it, pushing it further into the lion's flesh. While avoiding its attacks until the creature finally lays dead beneath me, I will make a trophy of it. We will burn its remains. I'll bring the carcass back to my fellow warriors. Okay, well, if I make a trophy, do we get something? Lean from the center, personal combat skill, gain prestige. Okay, I don't get like an item. I get, lion I get a lion's mane. That's pretty cool. We'll burn its remains. We get piety, kind of the religious thing. His opinion of me goes up. I'll bring the carcass back to my fellow warriors. His opinion will go up as well for both of these, but I get prestige. Okay. What do I think? We're just... Maybe, you know, this. even though it was a creature and we had to kill it, maybe we should treat it respectfully and burn its remains. Um, charitable, maybe I'd give it to my fellow warriors. Uh, trusting, not really bothered. Honest, don't think we really matters. Kind? Probably burning it is the kindest thing to do, isn't it? Because, you know, you're kind of treating it with dignity rather than taking it to be, you know, shown off by everyone, to be honest. Um, shy, patient, bookish. I don't think, yeah, we won't take it. It would be cool, but I don't think we'll take it ourselves. I think we're going to burn the remains. I think we're going to, like, you know, let's treat this animal. This animal is a symbol of bravery and ferociousness. Let's treat it with dignity. There we go. And we'll do that. We'll burn its remains. He likes me as well. Um, but okay, interesting little quest there. Not seen that one before. I guess it's just one of the new African quests, I would assume. Uh, young Ghani has finished her educa his education. He became a dutiful cleric. Not that great, but then again, he's just sat in my dungeon. So what am I to expect? We're still at 93% now. Inherited the mosque. Okay, nothing really important there. Andalusia, usurp and stuff. Obviously, evil ruler. 99%. Looks like we can't get 100%. I think we need to go and actually defeat his army. Maybe we've not attacked his army yet. I thought maybe the spirit guardians had fought them at some point, but it looks like probably apparently not. And the patrol may go ahead. We'll bring together the Kalsen and Dawa families. Bringing us together once and for all. Matrilineal? No. Okay. <laughs> we'll bring us together once and for all. As it should be. We freed your people. You now help us. You work for me. He became a thrifty cleric. We got 49% because they just got took that. I told Rahid to stay at home, but just as I finished purchasing my gift to him, I turn around and see him trying to hide from me. The surprise is ruined. I'll grab him by the ear and have a serious talk. I can't blame him. Uh, maybe we can't blame him, I guess. Yeah, we can't blame him. He's just a kid, you know? Kids can't control themselves. Looks like we will get them in time. The fight will begin. We'll take them down. Hopefully, if we defeat them in this battle, that will be the end of this. Justice is harsh, our mistress, and I can't love her anymore. I am not the law. Well, there we go. And there we have it. Looks like we caught him. In, or did he? No, he died. Was slain by High Chief Tanimu of Hauserland in the chaotic battlefield. Good job, High Chief. Good job, the Dabawa family. We had a lot of history with them, and his son is in jail. So, there you go. <laughs> there we go. It's done and dusted. The battle did win us the war. And there we go. Money for me. And no more wars. Excellent. We delete the men. And I think we'll spend the money. The question is, where do we want to concentrate on castles? I'm thinking this land here we want to build up first into making it castles. And then we'll go this way. And then we'll slowly make our way this way. That's how we'll kind of build up to a feudal society, I think. Uh, we could go for an ambition. See the realm prosper. I guess for now, over a time of peace. We've done a lot of war. I think we can go for a bit of peace as well. But yes, okay, let's build you up then. So you're done. We don't need to build that up. He's done the most that he can get. Okay, a lot of these people need to have their technology increased. We'll go for this one then. You can build up. We'll build up down to a thousand gold, I think. That's what we'll do. We'll build down to a thousand gold. The main central area will be done first. There you go. And hopefully we can get as many. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Hill forts. So hopefully we can get as many as done as possible so we can move them all on to being castles. That's my main concern that, 
you know, we're not going to be able to have any feudal vassals underneath us. Because the rest of the lands might not be built up. But through these wars, we gain a lot of money. Yes, I could spend it on our own family. I probably should. But it would be great for us to be able to improve the lives of all of our people. Of course. That one's almost done. You can't be done. Um, we could do one more, I think. Can we do you? Yes, we... Nope, that's a wall and ditch. A uh, pill fort. We could probably do another one, actually. A small one. There we go. There we go. So we're going to do this middle land first. The kind of land we came from. The land we united first. It makes sense to build up first. That was kind of, That's meant to be the heart of our empire. It will be the most developed in the future. Maybe in the past it wasn't the most developed, but in the future for us, we'll make it the most developed. At least for a bit of time. Uh, Sultan of Arabia died in an accident. Wow, he frees his people, uh, forms this new kingdom, vast kingdom of Arabia, and then he's killed in an accident. Hmm. And so his son, Sultan Fad Muhalabid, is taken over. Well, well, well. Married to a kinder. Ooh, a kinder surprise. Hmm. Pop her open and see what's inside. That that sounded terrible. I Okay, maybe I'll edit that joke. <laughs> no, I'm not going to edit it out. I never edit anything. <laughs> um, on your obligation, what is this? What is this? Holy war. He's fighting. Okay, Fez. Fez, so someone's attacking him. And it looks as though they've moved. Who's this? The Caliph. Okay, so the Caliph has actually moved down to here. Okay. I will help you, but I'm not going to send actual men. We, we don't need to get involved. I'm looking at the rest of the world. I want to see what's going on in the rest of the world. See how it's gone. Aquitaine's obviously safe. Andalusia did not expand. Uh, England is pretty united, actually. That's a pretty nice England. You know, Border-wise, it's pretty good. You got a little bit of places here and there, but you know the corner down here is pretty independent. But maybe they can subjugate them in the future. Saxony controls Brittany. There's the upper... Upper Brittany. We've got the Pay Kingdom of Penvid there. King of Aquitaine up here. But Saxony controls this. Okay. Um, you got a pretty big one here in Ireland. King Aid. Unel Um That's probably the biggest one there in Ireland. It's pretty big, actually. Yeah, it goes all the way down here as well. You've also got Connacht as well. King Daniel. We've got another king just down here. A bit of a smaller one. Uh, king Azak. Uh, Dalburn. Okay. So a few little king. Oh, there's another one here as well. A few little kings there. You know, petty kings at this point in time. The Swedish are still keeping to their Catholic ways. Same with Norway, actually. Norway also converted to Christianity. Saxony is really the only one holding up the uh, Germanic faith. And it's not looking great, is it? There's a lot of Catholics up here. Look at that. And obviously the Germanic faith is being kind of separated by the old Germanic faith, so that's causing problems as well. I'm not sure if Germanic faith has much of a future. Ours is mostly united. So we're pretty happy about that. I mean, most of the old African faith are actually dying out as well, so it's looking pretty good. It's not too bad in that regard either. The Byzantine Empire is having a little bit... Oh, okay, and she lost it. Several vicious rumors have been circling about me lately with a lot of effort. I finally managed to trace them back to High Chief Mamadi. Okay. Basil Sabus Lauliadios. Okay, so we've got a new emperor here. He's not that great, it looks like. His heir would be this guy. Some of a different family. Is it elective? Okay, it is elective, yeah. Imperial elective. Fractually, you've gone weeks without rain. Arrange for rain dances. Okay, fine. Arrange for them for now. Go up north. Looks a bit messy up here. Not very clean at all. Look at the mess up here. Look at the mess. There's a... Orsha still exists. Uh, better, better boundaries than it used to have. You know, it used to have pretty bad boundaries before. It's not looking too bad at the moment. Okay. Uh, Pannoni, of course, declared a peasant revolt. Ah, damn peasants. Get in the way. Someone help me. Someone deal with them for me. I don't have to deal with them. Of course, one of my, of course they're going to have the obligations. They all love me. We've done so much for them. Of course they love me. Over here in the east. Okay. Tibet's made a bit of a come, you know, bit of a come. They're taking over up here now as well. Okay. Declared Arabian holy war for Wag on the king of Abyssinia. So now Arabia is attacking them. Will they be protected by the Abbasids? You would think so, wouldn't you? 
You'd think so. But I don't know. At the moment, they've not joined in. So we'll delete those. We'll pop back over here. Still the Arabian Empire. Okay. They're not really being protected, though, very well. Uh, except the king's call to arms. There we go. Okay, so the Abbasids have joined now. They're going to protect them. France has now kind of moved into Germany. Like, a lot of France, actually, is not controlled by France now. Aquitaine, I would say, probably controls a lot of it. I mean, there's a bit, bit of France here and there. Uh, you got Amman's over here, but really, France is Germany. Do they have the German crown as well? That's, oh, I put the wrong one. That one. Uh, King Berold. The King of Germany, the Kingdom of Burgundy as well. Uh, Lombardy is facing civil war right now. Duke Lantbert's claim on Lombardy. As she's growing older, I can see that she could use some of my guidance. Being social is key. Uh, yeah, fine. We'll teach her to be a bit more social. But overall, pretty happy. And um, we got these two wars going. Is no one dealing with the rebels? Oh, they actually have quite a few rebels, don't they? Let's be more charitable. They should have quite a few rebels. I think if they get their men together, they can deal with it. So it should be okay. Young Bello finished education. Tough soldier. Look at him. Look at him. The son of an Umayyad. And of course, the son of Sidi Dawa. He's now also the grandson of Queen Aisha. Excellent. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I'm going to have to end this part here because I'm about to lose my voice for some reason. Apologies. Uh, guys, hope to see you next time. My voice was about to leave me for some reason. We've also got Revolt League Independence. Ah, that would be great for this piece of land here. We could take that. Uh, mm, maybe not much else we particularly want straight away. We'd have to go through Maghreb a bit as well. But quite a few people looking for independence there. We'll see you guys next time. Hopefully I'll see you there. The Holy Dara Empire will not fall.